snow was pretty. It proved to be a headache for drivers passing through portions of the Sierra. And our own Jeff Marr was right there in the thick of the action. He has this report. Well, a lot of unexpected things here at the Crystal Springs exit along I-80. I've even made some new dog friends out here. I have no idea where these dogs came from or where their owners are at. There's another uh, lab. There he is walking down the uh, overpass there. I think we're going to have to call animal control. But uh, just one of the many unpredictable things that we've seen uh, throughout the day with this storm as it pushes through. I want to point out this section over here. This is where we saw four semi trucks in one hour uh, get stranded. Basically, they were sliding. They were unable to get across Crystal Springs Road to head back down I-80 West. So a specialized heavy duty Caltrans truck had to push them through. That's just an example of what happens when you have drivers coming through without snow chains and that's why the snow chains were a requirement. We're also going to show you some video of what it was like as we were driving up here. A lot of snow and slush mix created these rifts along the highway that were very dangerous, could easily send your vehicle into the concrete barrier if you weren't careful. That's why uh, snow plows stayed busy throughout the entire morning getting this section clear. Just now I was able to do boy, some right? sledding myself up here. I kind of found a hill that I don't think anyone even expected to see. Of course, getting back down here. the sledding hill was a lot easier than going oh. back up. I was slipping and sliding along the way back out here. <laughs> it's great weather for dogs, for sledding, for skiing. Uh, whatever your plans are that may take you up through the Sierra today, these guys just absolutely love the snow. <laughs> Hey guys, I have no idea where their owner is at. Hopefully we'll uh, be able to locate them. But back to the roads, just keep in mind, snow plows are going to be busy all throughout the night trying to clear the way. Make sure you take it slow. And of course, chains are a good idea. Those semi trucks being stuck, that was evidence of that. For now, we're along 80. Jeff Marr, News 10. Well, Jeff was a very busy guy because not only doing some sledding, but also caring for those dogs. Love the snow, yeah. Well, Jeff and his photographer Mark Willis led both of those dogs away from that dangerous spot along I-80 where they could have gotten hit by a lot of those passing cars as you saw earlier and took them to a nearby neighborhood where the dogs rec recognized their surroundings and ran right back home. Hopefully a little warmer right now as well.